kind of extradited. Brett's on the camera. Brett, the camera guy. Mr. Moore. I stole the camera. I'm the camera guy now. What's up? He's got them big deals, man. It's like, it's hey, like I don't know how he's doing it. All these hobo kayaks he keeps selling. They funnel. <laughs> yeah, they just funnel to them. We don't have a rivalry. I love John. John's my boy. But John just he's, he's, he's just wants to come for me. So he wants to beat me each month. Though. Beat you in what? In sales. In sales. And, and he's, look at him. He got that smile. No, look at him. No, See? they're shooting They're shooting much different <laughs> frequencies, so you're not going to have to worry about that. So are you the top so, dog? Uh, <laughs> right now, yes. Yes, right now. But he's right coming now. for me. He's right coming for me. 14 and 0. 14 months I've been here. 14 and 0. So, I, you, hey, you know Michael Jordan's got to lose every once in a while, right? And No, he doesn't. <laughs> he's, he's definitely not 14 and 0. He definitely did not win his first month here. We're going back to the record books. We're... <laughs> He's not 14 and no. He has slaughtered us the last 12 for sure. <laughs> but not this month. This month's the month, right? This month is... Today. So call in, talk to Johnny, and get it done. We have a, an old Mercury Black Max here that's running like garbage right now. We're gonna dig into it and see what we can't figure out. This motor should be running about 5,800 RPMs. We're only getting about 5,000 out of it. So far, we've gone through the carburetors, cleaned those out, installed some rebuild kits. We also noticed after we were inspecting it that we didn't have any uh, spark on cylinder number three. So after checking some coil packs out and finding out that we didn't have a bad coil pack, uh, we replaced a couple CDI boxes. Uh, we were able to get fire on that cylinder, but we're still way down in power in RPMs. So we're gonna go back into this, do some checks on the stator to make sure that our stator's functioning correctly. Make sure that we're getting good fuel flow, a lot of trial and error, just a, just a lot of things to check on these old outboard motors. Um, question I got, we did a voltage test on this stator, cylinder three, when we was having problems with it not firing. At an idle, it's supposed to be at 180 volts, but we're gonna put it at like 90. So I'm thinking I still have a bad stator. some stator test. We uh, determine with the engine running that we have low voltage going to coil number three. Maybe contributing to our low power issue that we're having. Uh, right now we're just trying to uh, eliminate anything that we can find that doesn't add up right. What we're hoping to eliminate is the chance that we had a broken wire going from our switch box over to the coil. So what we've made is a temporary jumper wire going over to the coil pack. We're gonna see if we get the voltage that we're looking for. If not, then we're going to have to keep digging in a little bit deeper. All right, 
so after we just did that test, we were able to determine that we had a bad wire going from our switch box over to our coil. We're gonna have to put everything back together, get it buttoned up, take it out on the lake to actually get a true power test. But it's looking good. We found something that was wrong. It's right now. It's at least a step in the right direction. Hopefully, we get out there on the water and the thing we're on the way it's supposed to. If not, we'll come back and we'll dive in further. You guys got it going on over there. We're fixing boats and stuff. Really? Yeah. This is a good looking boat you guys got back here. Yeah. Bass cat, you don't see those very often. This is a rat cat dog. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like it was purring pretty good. It was doing something, making a lot of smoke and a lot of noise. <laughs> Hopefully cool. it goes fast. Brett was saying he wished his sounded as good as mine. You got the old Johnny root on the back. So did they tell you what we found? No. But we just found something new. What'd you find? A uh, bad wire between the switch uh, box and coil pack. So we were getting 180 volts to... I mean, I'm getting continuity through the wiring, but that little bit of corrosion on there could cause an issue. Yeah. We're getting 180 volts to five of the coils and like 90 volts to the coil that we've been yeah. having issues with. Oh, wow. With voltage running through it too, it may be breaking down. Yeah. So it might just be a wire? Could be a bad wire. Wow. Won't know till we go run a full power test, but that's crazy. That's what we're getting ready to do now. You hate we to were get, definitely getting weak spark though. You hate to get too hopeful because we kind of thought we've tracked it down. Yeah, I thought we found it about ten times, you know, already, and we're finding a lot of issues, but we're we're breaking through them. That's what happens when you have a thirty-one-year-old motor, though, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. Just part of it, though. It's old, it deteriorates, and. I appreciate you guys being so dang persistent, though. We'll get it figured out. What, so which wire was it? See this orange wire? He's, this is just a temporary jumper that he made. Okay. Um, but right here is where you, where you measure. That's your incoming power to each coil. And we're getting... Your spec is 180 volts. and we were, So we were getting plus or minus 8, you know, on each of them. Yeah. Um, but we were all the way down to like 90 on that one. So Half. Pulled, pulled that wire off, replaced it with that one, checked it again we're right where we're supposed to be. Half the voltage so. we should have been getting. So there's a chance that we weren't even getting, you know, that cylinder still firing, but you, you're not burning the fuel off. If you don't got a hot spark, I mean, you're not gonna burn it. So that's why the performance wouldn't have, de wouldn't have increased with the last kind of. Right. Yeah. It's gonna idle the same. It's not gonna make a difference until you're actually running under a load, so. Cool. That's exciting. And being an old two-stroke, I mean, at idle, you're not gonna notice much of a difference anyways, because it, you know, runs like crap anyways. They're not, yeah. you know, they're not much to idle around. But. Oh, I guess let's put the count on in. Dang. Woo! We're gonna have to put some gas in her. Uh, I think by now we're, okay. we'll probably run about everything out of it, so. We need about $250, here. What's your, what's your, how much you wanna put in there? <laughs> what, what's your card number? <laughs> <laughs>